Welcome to Hotel Trouble. Meet Sally, our receptionist. People trying to have a conversation here. And this is Lenny. He's a man of many talents. This is Dolly. She's Mr. Trouble's <clears throat> fiance. And this is Mrs. Washington, the new cleaner. Which just leaves me, Jamie, and the bellboy. Listen up, I've just been on the phone with Trubbly Wubbly Trubbly himself and he says that we've not had enough guests staying here lately. He's not happy. Oh, that's a shame. Should we buy him a lollipop? A lollipop? Yeah. My mum always used to buy me a lollipop when I wasn't happy. Never did me any harm. <laughs> anyway, we need people to come back to the hotel. And seeing as you lot are a little bit lazy and a little bit useless, I have come up with a new idea to bring them in. Boys and girls, let me introduce you to my new... Pause for drum roll. Turbo chair. Turbo chair is designed to relieve stress by massaging you while you sit back and relax. That's definitely going to bring the customers in. A chair. Uh, what did you say, Sally? You sound like you're a little stressed yourself. Why don't you have a go? I bet you're feeling a lot more relaxed now, aren't you, Sally? Yeah. <laughs> I put me in that chair again. So how does this bonkers contraption of yours work, Dolly? Does it batteries, electricity, solar power? No, 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 no. It's run by a little man who's sitting inside it. What? what? Yeah. His name's Nigel. You all right in there, Nigel? Yeah, all right, thanks. Um, could I get a cup of tea, please? Yeah. So hang on. Your great idea to bring guests in is a little man who sits in a chair and shakes it when you sit in it. Well, I don't see you coming up with any better ideas, Jamie. I have got an idea. No! Turbo chair it is. People will come from miles around to have a go. Look, you're making me all tense now. <sighs> Do your worst, Nigel. Right, guys, we have a problem. This hotel isn't getting enough guests. And call me crazy, but I don't think a little man shaking a big chair is going to bring them in. What about a big man shaking a little chair? Even worse. Why do you care anyway? No guests means less work for us, so I can sit around and read Best Baked Bean magazine. Best Baked Bean magazine? Well, I've read all the other magazines, and I have to find something to do around here. Well, you could work. It's actually quite interesting. You would not believe what the people in baked bean companies get up to. Believe me, darling, I know. I once dated the head of Baked Beans Incorporated. Enough about the beans. If we don't get more guests staying at this hotel, then there won't be a hotel for us to work in. Oh, but Jamie, Mr. Trouble would never close this hotel. Get real, Grandma. This hotel is just a tiny part of the Trouble Empire. He's got businesses all over the world. His porcupine farm makes more money than this place. What do you make at a porcupine farm? Toothpicks. Oi, put that back, or you'll be picking your teeth up from the floor. <laughs> anyway. I've got an idea that I'm pretty confident will blow your socks off. Sheets off. When they're, when they're weather we we, when they're we are going to enter the International Hotel of the Year competition. <gasps> Guys! All right, so you want to enter some big hotel competition. What do you want us to do about it? I need your help, Sally. 
We need to show Mr. T we're what keeps this hotel together. And if we don't save the hotel, what's going to happen to you? Do you really want to go back to your old job, counting grains of salt? One million eight hundred and forty-six. One million eight hundred and four. We need something that's really going to impress the judges. OK. <clears throat> what about if I sang to the hotel guests 24-7? Good morning. Morning. I hope you're enjoying your stay. Don't worry about the holes in the roof. They are meant to be there. Yeah. I know. Why don't we make it an international hotel? By having, like, sausages from Germany, music from South Africa, French cheese from the... the supermarket. Not bad, Lenny. Not bad. <laughs> Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you know any German other than Guten Tag? No, no. Jamie, I've got a new rickshaw from China. Ah, oh, good. Come on, pretend you're a guest. Hop on board. OK. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> good evening, sir. May I take you to your room? Uh, yes, please. Um, room five. Off we go, then! <laughs> Stairs. I haven't really thought this through, have I? Yo, heave-ho! Yo, heave-ho! Yo, ho Yo, ho Yo, heave-ho! I'm guessing that's Mrs. Washington's contribution. Russian dancing. <sighs> okay, I've been having a look on the internet and I found out how the competition works. The organizers are gonna send a mystery guest to each hotel in the competition. Oh, is that like a guest that solves mysteries? Like, like Sherlock Holmes? Perhaps while he's here, he can solve the mystery of what's been happening to my cookies. You haven't seen them, have you, Sally? <laughs> No, no, a mystery guest is a guest who looks like any other ordinary guest, but is actually not what they seem. Are they a burglar? No. Are they a robot? No. Are they a robot burglar sent from the future come to wipe our past so that we never even existed? A mystery guest is someone pretending to be a guest, but is actually here to check out the hotel and judge it for the competition. <laughs> Nigel, I feel very much more, 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 more relaxed than now. Can I have that cup of tea now, please? We're a bit thirsty from all that shaking. Yes, I'll go and get it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Nigel. All the tea seems to have gone. <laughs> Crumpet. I was desperate for a cuppa. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, um, I don't know where the staff have got to. Do you have any rules? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I imagine you're here for the turbo chair. Was it uh, an advert in the paper you saw? What? A turbo chair? I do not have any time for this. I've just had a very long flight from Japan. <gasps> oh, Japan, eh? You must be very stressed. You need something to relax you, something to shake away all those worries. What is this? I just want to go to my room. Setting it to number five. Ready, Nigel. Oh, full steam ahead. Oh, what's 
going on? Hello, Jamie. This is Mr... Takahashi. Mr. Takahashi. He's trying out our new turbo chair. The mystery guest. No, no turbo chair. I'm sure Mr. Takahashi just wants to go to his room. Am I right, Mr. Takahashi? Yes, I tried to tell this woman, but she's crazy. I am not crazy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just take your bags. Which is obviously a very polite thing to do, so you might want to make a note of that. Yeah? It's very exciting times here at Hotel Trouble, actually. We're making this a fully international hotel. So we'll be having food and entertainment from all around the world. So you will have Japanese food? Japanese food? Yeah, of course, yeah. Remind me, Japanese food is, um... Well, it's, um, it's... You do not know, do you? Japanese food is sushi, bento, wasabi. Sushi, yeah, of course, got loads of sushi, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll just get our chef to cook some up for you. What? Cook? You do not cook sushi. It is raw fish. Really? I mean, yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Raw fish. Do you want some now? No. Now I will go and lie down. I would like my sushi ready for me at 7 p.m. No sooner and no later. And I expect some kind of entertainment with my meal. I do not wish to eat whilst looking at nothing but your chubby chops. Now take me to my room. Yes, of course. And another thing. When I'm asleep, I do not like to be disturbed. Understand? When I'm disturbed, it makes me very cross. And you do not want to see me when I'm cross. Here's a picture of me when I'm cross. <laughs> And this is the corridor! 100% wood. <laughs> just gonna turn my back, just in case you want to make a note of that. Just in case you're, uh, judging a competition or something. And this is your room. There you are. All our rooms have four walls, a ceiling, and all but one have a floor. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we should probably fix that. You know, I really think you're going to enjoy your stay here. I'll be the judge of that. Huh? <laughs> judge of that? See what you did there, and I like it. Hmm. What are you talking about? OK, I'm going to sleep now. I do not want to hear any more noise. The slightest sound could wake me up. OK. You just made sound. OK, better. Now close my door. Of course. Quietly. German. Right. French is a much more beautiful language. Oh. Bonjour! Shh. This place is a madhouse. I do not want to hear any more noise. All right? Yes, yes, I'll make sure of it. Have a good sleep. Jamie, I found the mystery guest. Lenny, that's a life-size cutout of John Barrowman. I wonder why he wasn't talking back. <laughs> anyway, don't you worry. I'll keep looking. See you later, Jamie. I thought I told you. I need absolute silence. I'm sorry. And then he said, I'll be the judge of that. It's a pretty obvious hint, right? Hmm? Oh, right, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so he means he's the judge of the competition. He's testing us by getting us to make sushi and by generally being the most difficult guest I've ever met. You know, we need to make sure he has the best stay possible. And whatever you do, don't tell Dolly, all right? 
You know I can speak Japanese. Yeah. Hello is konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, 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 wa, 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 wa. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, Sally's going to sing it to Mr Takahashi, the mystery guest in the Hotel of the Year competition we've entered, to save the hotel. <laughs> was it Don't Tell Dolly or Do? I forget. It was Don't. Hush, my brain box. You've entered the hotel into a competition without telling me. With my turbo chair, we can't lose. I'll see Mr Takahashi in it 24 hours a day. Are you up to that, Nige? It'd be a lot easier if you bought me that cup of tea. You know, I was very big in Japan in my younger days. Now, I was something of a pop star, actually. Perhaps you remember my hit single? What was it called? Fun baby, fun, fun, fun time. Let's dance brackets. Do you want to dance close brackets? Well, it's a catchy title. So at seven o'clock, uh, Mr Takahashi will be coming down for his sushi. And he wants some kind of entertainment. So, Sally, we'll work on that. Lenny, you can go and talk to Chef about getting the sushi ready. OK. No, wait, why do I have to talk to him? Because I'm, I'm doing the entertainment, yeah? It's not like I'm afraid of the chef or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, me, me neither. <laughs> I'll break out the right gear. Good idea. Konnichiwa, wa, 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 wa. Sally, I'm not sure singing is your strongest point. Yeah, maybe we should uh, focus on the dancing. What do you mean? I'm the best singer in the world. Actually, Sally, just uh, sing that last note again. <laughs> uh, yeah, try it a bit higher. A bit higher. <coughs> and just a bit higher. <coughs> oh, no, Sally. Oh, it sounds like you've lost your voice. You won't be able to sing after all. What a shame. Oh. Well, maybe you, you could do some dancing instead. Hmm? Back soon, dearest. I just have one more hotel to judge for the competition. Love to you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Ah, hotel trouble. Well, the lobby looks nice enough. Hmm. Excuse me. I'm looking for a room. What? I said I'd like to book a room, if I may. Well, I'm kind of busy right now, so that there are forms on the desk. I see. Uh, my name is Mr. Baker, and I was hoping if you could tell me a little bit about uh, what this hotel has to offer. Listen, Mr. Butcher, you've got eyes, haven't you? I've got a very important guest staying right now, so I really need to get this done. Ah, I see. Ah, oh, excuse me. My name is Mr. Baker, and I'd like to book a room. Yeah, that's lovely, Mr. Buildup. Uh, as you can see, we're very busy here, so if you'd just like to go out and find yourself a room, we'll sort the rest out later. Right. Oh. OK. Exactly. Oh, chef. No one's criticising your cooking. What are you doing with that cake, chef? Oh, Chef, where are you going? I suppose I'll have to make the sushi myself. I don't know what I'm going to do, Sally. Without chef, I'm going to have to cook the sushi myself. According to this, it's raw fish in rice. I don't get it. Where am I going to find raw fish? Oh, come on, think, Lenny, think. I've got it. Mr Trouble's goldfish. Yeah, do you think that's a good idea, Sally? I don't know what you mean by that. Does it mean yes when you're shaking your head or no? I'm going to take that as a yes. Thanks, Sally. You've been a great help. Hello. I'd like to order some room service, please. Um, I'll have a bowl of pasta, a glass of lemonade, and a slice of banoffee pie, please. 
Hello? Lenny, is the sushi ready yet? No, you! It is seven o'clock. Where is my sushi? Ah, yes, Mr. Takahashi. Uh, if you'd just like to step into the dining room, we have your entertainment ready. And sushi? Yes, yes, of course. The sushi will be ready any moment. Just follow me. And I'm sure you've noticed our, uh, sorry, our special international decorations. I don't know if you want to make a note about that, or, uh... I don't care about decorations. I just care about sushi! Excuse me. I'm feeling rather peckish, and I think there may be a problem with your, uh, room service. I'd like a bowl of pasta, a lemonade, and a slice of banoffee pie, please. Um, yeah, I don't want to seem rude, Mr. Bricklayer. Ah, uh, it's Baker. Right, yeah, we have a very special guest staying at the moment. So, um, we're just gonna have to get you, uh... If you could just have a seat here, someone will be with you in a moment. This will help you to relax. Nige, give him the full session, and that cup of tea is yours. Message understood, Skipper. Full session. Nige! Ow! Body move it! Body move it! Sushi! 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 Coming right up. But first, it's time for your entertainment. <whistles> Mr. Takahashi, we would like to take you on a journey across the world through the wonder of the dance. Spain. <laughs> USA, India, Ireland, Germany, Lithuania, And finally, I don't know anymore. Russia. I do not care for any of this dancing. Where is my sushi? Right here. <laughs> First, the rice. Pudding. And now, the raw fish. Ta -da! Is that Mr. Trouble's goldfish? Yeah. Ah, ah. Huh. There we go. Sushi. Oh. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> goldfish are a protected species. Eat fish fingers instead. Hey, what about me? Am I not protected? This is the worst hotel I've ever stayed in my whole life. I'm leaving immediately. Mr. Takahashi, please give us another chance. I'm begging you. No, you've had your chances. This is the worst hotel ever. Nothing could make me want to stay. Ah, fun, baby, fun, fun, fun time. I don't believe it. Lolly, dolly. That was so beautiful. That was number one in Japan for five years. I used to have your picture on my wall. When will you release a new single? Oh, Mr. Takahashi, I'm not in the music business anymore. Well, uh, let's not be so hasty. 
I'm sure we can sort something out if Mr. Takahashi was willing to do something for us. For example, let us win the competition. Competition? Uh, what competition? The International Hotel of the Year competition. You are the mystery guest, right? Mystery guest? Like Sherlock Holmes or a robot burglar from the future? Oh, see? You're not the mystery guest, are you? Then who could it be? <laughs> A bowl of pasta, a lemonade, and a slice of Benoffi pie. Please! You're the mystery guest, aren't you, Mr. Bakewell Tart? My name is Mr. Baker! Mr. Baker! And I would never let you win the hotel competition, not if you were the last hotel on earth! Good day to you! So that's it then. We haven't won the competition, and Hotel Trouble is over. Right. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Mr Takahashi is the owner of Takahashi Baked Beans, the biggest baked bean company in Japan. Oh, well, I can't believe I didn't recognise him. No, listen, it says here he's planning on holding the biggest baked bean convention in Britain next month, so he's... he's He's probably here looking for hotels for everyone to stay at. You mean, if we can persuade him to make everyone come to the baked bean convention, then hotel trouble will be saved. But how are we going to convince him to do that? Looks like we might not need to. Fun, baby, fun, fun, fun time. Every room. He booked every room. For a whole month. For a whole month. <laughs> There's just one thing. They all want sushi. Well, I suppose I better go out and buy some more goldfish. What? So I guess things are back to normal then. La da la Well, when I say normal. And now I've got my voice back. <gasps> I can sing. I can sing all the time. Hotel alive.